What's going on, everybody? It's Jake from Broken Time here. Um, we're getting ready for our show in San Marcos, and as you can see, it's starting to unload a lot of things, or tear down a lot of things. It's been a long day, and I'm really looking forward to the show. Our drummer's coming here, pick up his cymbals, because we weren't able to get a cargo van this time around. But it's still only in San Marcos, it's only like two hours away, so just gonna drive there on our own cars. We can do it. No big deal. For merch, we were trying to get two t-shirt designs, but we only got the one. So, you know, what can you do? But we also did get, we have pins this time. We have three different pins. Uh, one Infinity Design logo, one like actual logo, and one barcode design that I came up with that I really like. And we're gonna have a little tip jar laid out. Other than that, setup is pretty minimal this time. I'm trying to have it to where I can set up and tear down really quickly. I don't, I do have more things technically, but I have it to a way where I can just unplug, unplug, put it in the bag, get out. So yeah, it's gonna be a good show. Uh, I've been really nervous because we haven't played a show officially in like two years, but here's hoping that it goes really well. So the rundown, I always bring this bag everywhere that I go. Anytime I have a show, I always bring this blue bag. It's always full of cables extra stuff. I'm bringing uh, an extra microphone just in case we need it because the venue said that they're going to provide microphones, but better safe than sorry. Um, so I got cables. I got two extension cords. Um, I have extra strings for uh, stuff for string repair, microphone beanies, extra straps, just making sure that we have everything that we need in case something goes wrong. I'm also bringing this whiteboard for merch. And in the other room, there is our set list and I'm also giving out free flyers that I'm gonna be having with Sharpies at there just in case like, as like a little free merch item. It's like, hey, you know, if you want something to remember the night by, you know, we can sign it for you, free of charge. Cause I wanna make a good impression. I don't know how many people are gonna be there. Hopefully there's gonna be quite a few, but you never know. <sighs> These banners fell underneath my bed. So now I gotta crawl underneath and snag them. So we just loaded most of the things in my truck. We got Jonathan earlier. So right now we're just waiting on our drummer. See what all we need to do. Meet up with my father, go grab merch, and then we'll probably head out. Are you vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Fuck yeah. Hey, maskless vlog. <laughs> um putting the cab and the uh, bass amp in the back along with the big square holder for the banner. Putting the two stands in the back and put the two banners in the back. Uh, all the instruments, the back and the head at the bottom. And for the most part, that's pretty much it. I got my pedal board in there. Can't think of anything else that we need right now. Here. Um, yeah. We're on the road. Yes, sir. Time to go rock this shit. It's time to go fuck some shit up. It's gonna be a good show. So we're here on Ragnar's right now. Uh, got to the got to the venue pretty early, like almost two hours early. Um, it's a pretty cool place. It's really weird, actually. Um, yeah, I'm vlogging. I don't care it looks cool <laughs> but there's two stages there's one inside um it's a really cool stage pretty well lit and it's actually a pretty like decently built stage and there's the one outside which is pretty cool i don't think we're playing that one though wish would be fun if we did but we're not nope but hey a stage is a stage what is what amen so we went in we talked to the owners of the bar and um they're actually letting us load in early so we're just gonna be ready and chilling for like an hour. It's gonna be great for me because um, I wanna rest my voice for a little bit, drink some water, and just get everything ready. Load in is going pretty smooth right now. Um, so far it's looking like we have a decent amount of people coming actually.
sound check was pretty good. Um, we played the intro to Burn and that was it. Uh, everything sounds pretty good. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty killer show. Um, I'm really nervous. Haven't played in, with this band in two years, so anything could go. Let's see how it goes. show went pretty well um my voice was definitely a little rough especially near the end um i think i was over projecting just a bit and then 
Uh, I think my voice cracked on the first course of Ignore. But it recovered itself after that. Most of the singing stuff was okay. It was actually pretty good. I think Perpetual was probably my, was the best song that I did. Um, and most of the screaming stuff was really hard because it's hard for me to find a good placement for my screams. So I'm thinking about taking vocal lessons with uh, Justin Bonnets, get him to help me just like dial in everything. And yeah, but other than that, uh, there was a lot of drum difficulties. One thing we really need to do is upgrade our drum, especially our hardware. Um, Cause eight had a, uh, his China stand just pretty much shot itself. And then you now I had to improvise something between uh, ignore and save yourself. So I was kind of frustrated at that. And, but you know, so what can you do? Right now everybody's inside. I'm back here loading gear. I don't know why they're not helping me, but it is what it is. Um, Cause I don't want our gear to be stolen. So I'm putting everything back in the truck. After this, I'm gonna go watch Prophecy of the Martyr and play their shit. Stay here for like the rest of the night. Sell merch, say hi to the fans and go back home, yeah. I'd say it was a success. What would you say? Uh, yeah, it was very sexful. Uh, sexful? So shut the fuck up. I'm tired. I'm, I'm fucking beat, bro. Undernun kicked my ass. Undernun was really cool. Yeah. Prophecy of Martyr had some really cool originals. Mm -hmm. Nice and Jesters. They had some cool songs. They had some really cool moments, but just they weren't my favorite. Yeah. They were really, every, everyone was solid. <coughs> um, the band Broken Time, dude, they were easily the best. I don't know if you guys know them. Um... <laughs> But holy fuck, I, I, in my opinion, I think we did really good. Um, obviously, it wasn't perfect. It's our first show back after like fucking two years, so. Yeah. I, need, I need to condition my voice again because there was a lot of parts where it's just like, it was hanging on by thread. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to start <coughs> working on my endurance and shit, you know, if anyone wants to help me out there. Looking ass. <laughs> I almost passed out yeah. uh, during burn. I got really lightheaded and like during the breakdown, because I have to hold that screen for so long. And since that's around the end of our set, mm -hmm. I just tunnel vision. I felt light. I was like, okay, okay. Get back up, get back up. You got it, you got this. I'm going to have a bad bang over tomorrow. Oh, I'm not the worst. Probably the worst I've had in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not as bad as bad omens, though. 
not as bad as fucking corn, dude. Corn kicked my ass. Attila was surprisingly uh, tame for me. Yeah. Attila, I didn't have a bad bang over. No, yeah, me neither, dude. But, dude, I think after corn, I was fucking sore for like fucking four or five days. I am. Um, and I, I couldn't move my arms <coughs> the day after. Dude, the first, <coughs> excuse me, first day of Rocklahoma fucking killed me. And I had to do that for two more days. Oh. Uh, <coughs> Yeah. One, it wasn't fucking ass this year, dude. Oh, uh, we, it would have been so good. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go to Whataburger. And then we have, like, another two hours worth of driving. <laughs> we're going to get back home at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not taking the suit off. I look too sexy. I got complimented today. Yes. By someone very special. I'm like, man, wow. <laughs> Let's get going. So I just dropped Jonathan off. Um... I am probably the most tired I've been in a very, very long time. I probably shouldn't have driven home under that state, but then again, I was like, what other choice did I have? Because, well, no, there was, there's no real, like, 24-7 hotel I could have gone to, or at least one that I knew that would have had a, a room, but I made it home. It was really dangerous like I was starting to hallucinate because I've been up for a long time played a show you know I had to stay at merch and then you know had banged with you know like all these bands so yeah so it's the next day and I'm sore as hell it was a pretty good show uh, I had banged with like a lot of the other bands for like most of the night uh, the time changed, so I didn't get back home till 4 in the morning, apparently, and that was fun, because I looked at it, it said arrival time was going to be at 4.09, that's weird, we're leaving at like 1.30, so it shouldn't be, but then I realized, oh, that's strange, so yeah, daylight savings happened while we were on the road, but I think the thing that bothered me the most about last night was just uh, getting off the stage and loading everything back into the truck because, like, everybody helped equally get off the stage because, you know, we had to get everything off, but nobody really helped put anything back up. Like, if it wasn't for me putting everything back up myself, you know, it wouldn't have happened. And I did hear that our drummer apparently sprained his hand, which I didn't know about. He didn't tell me. But, you know, it would have been nice to know. And then Jonathan just kind of went off doing his own thing just talking to this one person and I just did everything myself I was writing to myself like while I was like while I was doing this I don't know each time something like this happens I just keep on thinking it's like we can't keep doing this especially with the drum difficulties that happen on stage it's like if you don't want it to happen during the show you got to fix it at the source it's like we need to get new drum hardware because ours keeps failing you know, our drummer needs to keep his felts with the stands. We need to make sure that our hardware is good. Because the Tom, he knows this. This has been happening forever. The Tom, for some reason, the high Tom just keeps, it keeps going. Which, I don't know why it happens. But he kept having to fix it. And, well, there's not much I can do. So he said he's probably going to start using his kit. Which, cool. I don't mind. But it's like we just have to keep make sure we have to find a way to where stuff like this doesn't happen. We all need to move together as a band and we need to communicate as a band. We need to make sure that problems like this don't happen to begin with. So that way we um so that way everything just goes a lot more smoothly. And I don't want it to come off as like I'm talking smack, but it's just like it kind of frustrated me, but you live and you learn. Uh but that was it. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and uh, here's to the next show. I'll see y'all later.